Welcome to the Pinellas County Neighborhood Project Information Meeting for the Crystal Beach Drainage and Roadway Improvements Project. This presentation provides an overview of the conceptual plan for improving stormwater management and road surfaces in the project area between Crystal Beach Avenue and Florida Boulevard. Our agenda starts with an overview of our community project plan. We then move to the focus of today's meeting, the Crystal Beach Drainage and Roadway Improvements Project. The project approach and goals will be discussed along with the features and options of the conceptual plan. We will conclude with steps that will follow today's meeting and a preliminary project schedule. After viewing the presentation, please visit the various stations to gain additional project information, ask questions, and provide feedback by completing a survey. There is a lot going on in Crystal Beach. The Crystal Beach Community Project Plan provides an overview of recently completed, ongoing, and planned improvements for the community. The large orange area from Crystal Beach Avenue to Florida Boulevard represents the Crystal Beach Drainage and Roadway Improvements Project area and is the primary focus of today's meeting. Bold dashed lines represent roads that were paved in 2018, including Crystal Beach Avenue, Florida Boulevard, Vincent Street, and Mayo Street, with portions of Mayo Street being paved in 2014 and 2015. Red lines represent the Georgia Avenue Drainage and Road Improvements Project that was completed in May. Dark blue lines represent drainage and roadway improvements for Grace Street, Distance Street, Seaford Avenue, and Florida Boulevard that are currently in the design phase and are scheduled for construction in 2022. Green lines north of Crystal Beach Avenue show roads that are scheduled for resurfacing in 2020. Finally, erosion repairs were recently made along the shoreline and near the pier and are shown in light blue. Now, on to the main attraction, the Crystal Beach Drainage and Roadway Improvements Project. Development of this project was guided by the policies and objectives contained in the Crystal Beach Overlay. Elements of the conceptual plan for the project are consistent with the community vision captured in the overlay, including key goals to preserve the natural and historic features such as Live Oak Park and the Gulf Shore Park Path, protect the natural environment, including mangroves and estuary habitats, and maintain the old Florida feel and coastal character of the community through native landscaping. A comprehensive approach to improvements versus a patchwork of projects was undertaken to include both stormwater management and roadway elements. Additional utilities and other infrastructure needs may be identified as the project is developed. The goals of the project are to improve stormwater management by improving drainage to reduce ponding of water in yards and on the roads, reduce erosion from stormwater runoff, and improve water quality by incorporating green infrastructure. Better stormwater management will result in reduced mosquito breeding and improved travel safely through the community. Improve the conditions of roadway surfaces where desired. Property owners along shell roads will determine if the road remains shell or will be paved. Improved aesthetics will be provided through the use of native landscaping and educational opportunities will be provided through the use of signage near green infrastructure sites. One of the most important aspects of the project is community partnership. Input from the homeowners of Crystal Beach is paramount to the success of this project. The conceptual plan that has been developed allows for flexibility of the project elements based on the preferences of the community. This is your plan. The next two slides show stormwater and roadway components of the conceptual plan. The plan is presented in two parts for clarity, but the proposed improvements are similar. Stormwater improvements include a network of inlets, pipes, and bioswales that will collect and carry stormwater runoff away from homes, yards, and streets, and will provide treatment before discharging to coastal waters. This plan replaces existing deep ditches with either swales or swales over pipe, which will improve stormwater management as well as roadway safety. The proposed inlet and pipe network is represented by blue lines. Green areas shown along the South Golf Drive right-of-way and along some roadways represent bioswales that are designed to receive and treat stormwater runoff before discharging to St. Joseph Sound 
or Avery Bayou. Bioswales contained on the conceptual plan indicate potential sites only. Input from the community will better define the number, type, extent, and locations of swales. The Crystal Beach community contains both paved and shell roads. Proposed roadway improvements include repaving for paved roads that have not recently been resurfaced. Paving of shell roads is optional and will be determined by the homeowners along the road segment. Optional project elements to be determined by the community include plant selection in roadside swales and pavement improvements. The characteristics of roadside swales in the right-of-way in front of homes will be determined by the property owner. Homeowners may select either a mowable ground cover or enhanced planting with native plants. An agreement between the county and homeowner would outline the responsibilities of each partner. The county will pay for the purchase and installation of plants, and the homeowner will be responsible for mowing or weeding depending on plant selection. Improvements to road surfaces include repaving of paved roads that have not recently been resurfaced. Paving of shell roads is optional and will be determined by the homeowners along each shell road segment. Voting blocks will be established for this purpose. Bioswells along South Gulf Drive will be constructed and maintained by the county. The next two slides show typical sections for both paved and shell roads. The proposed width for all roads in the project area is 18 feet. These sections represent only a portion of the possible combinations of pavement and bioswale combinations. The top graphic shows a typical paved roadway section with mobile bioswale on the left and enhanced plantings on the right. The typical paved road section in the bottom graphic shows a driveway on the left and a bioswale with enhanced plantings on the right. Biosorption Activated Media, BAM, a soil amendment technology composed of natural and recycled materials, may also be utilized in the bioswales to provide enhanced pollutant removal. The top graphic shows a typical section for a shell roadway with a mobile ground cover bioswale on the left and enhanced plantings bioswale on the right. The bottom graphic illustrates how existing trees in the right-of-way will be retained whenever practicable. Bioswales will be planted with Florida-friendly native landscaping. Some examples of typical bioswale plants are shown. Homeowners preferring a mowable ground cover may prefer plants such as sunshine mimosa or perennial peanut that are more hardy than turf grass and do not require watering or fertilizer. For homeowners preferring enhanced plantings, species such as beach sunflower, mooley grass, and blue porterweed, among others, are good options. Bioswales located near Gulf Shore Drive will require salt-tolerant plants such as salt grass and frog fruit. These photographs along PK Avenue in Auburndale provide an example of bioswales in a residential setting. The bioswales are located between the road and sidewalk and contain a variety of native plants, much like the proposed bioswales for Crystal Beach. We recently developed a green infrastructure public education flyer and published it on our website. It is meant to educate citizens about the numerous environmental, social, and economic benefits of green infrastructure, including bioswales. Some benefits of green infrastructure include improved water quality, reduced flooding and erosion, and habitat restoration. Pick up a brochure or visit the project website for more information on green infrastructure. Separate from the conceptual plan described above is an option to create a living shoreline consisting of an oyster reef. The purpose of the reef is to provide erosion protection and shoreline stabilization that will also facilitate establishment of new wetland grass communities along the shoreline. The reef and tidal marsh provide ecological benefits, habitat, foraging areas, and sanctuary for wildlife, as well as improved water quality. Crystal Beach Community Input will guide the size, extent, and location of the living shoreline. This optional project will only move forward with your support. Materials used for the Living Shoreline Oyster Reef consist of marine-friendly concrete domes and oyster shell bags. Domes will be placed in approximately two feet of water for optimal growing conditions, mostly exposed at low tide and totally submerged at high tide. Behind the domes, mesh bags with mine shell or locally sourced shells will be placed. Native wetland grasses will be planted behind the reef to provide additional stabilization reduce pollutant loads, and provide habitat for wildlife.
As an alternative or in addition to the living shoreline, vertical oyster gardens may also be suspended from the pier. This element could also provide a public educational opportunity about the benefits oysters provide to marine environments. What happens next? See staff at the various stations for additional information. Then be sure to fill out a survey before you leave. We want to know of any drainage or roadway issues you have and would like to know your feedback on the proposed project plan and the optional living shoreline project. Please be sure to include your contact information on the survey. Periodically visit the Crystal Beach Drainage and Roadway Improvements website for up-to-date information on the project. Homeowners in the Roadway and Drainage Improvements project area should be on the lookout for mailed surveys to determine bioswell planting preferences and roadway surface preferences for shell roads. Feedback received from today's meeting and through mailed surveys will be used to further refine project elements in the preliminary engineering report, which is scheduled for completion in 2020. Another neighborhood project information meeting will be held to review and refine the revised plan. Any necessary adjustments will be made to the plan and the project will be designed during 2021 to 2023. At least one additional public meeting will be held before construction commences in 2024. Thank you for your participation in this project. Please see staff at various stations for more information.